California here at AB 957 says, wait, wait, when they say, listen, listen, that if you don't conform to or affirm the gender identity of your child, of your child, and the state determines that the best mental health for the child is for the child to receive gender affirming care, which is just a euphemism for pumping them full of cross sex hormones, puberty blockers, and then chemical castration, right? Or literally surgical castration. And you disagree as the parent and you don't affirm your child's gender identity, the state can take your children from you. Now, listen, they're going to fact check you, fact check and tell us that, no, we would never do that. In fact, we here at the White Rose Resistance and on my uh, my Instagram page and other conservatives shared the coverage of Jay Inslee, governor of Washington, signing a similar bill just very recently, a very similar bill that would allow the state to basically trans your kid and get and work with your kid and potentially remove them from the home if you don't affirm their gender delusions. Now, this is working its way through California. It's already passed the assembly. We need to stop this in the Senate. Yeah, if it goes through the Senate, you know Governor, Governor pedophilic Gavin Newsom Leaney is gonna sign this thing. AB 957 out of freaking California is evidence of what we've been trying to tell you and warn you about children, minors, who are expressing a gender identity with no age limitation, must be aware of sexual realities and a sexual nature in order to make sense of the conversation of whether they should chop their genitalia off or mutilate their genitalia or permanently sterilize themselves so they can never have kids. It's only leftist, kooky, totalitarian revolutionaries who believe that we're purely sexual beings. And this is why you're going all the way back to like CECAS, the Sexuality Information Education Council of the United States, and Alfred Kinsey and John Money and, and a lot of the people that kind of ushered in what we call sex ed today in America or comprehensive sexuality education. Like in their early study guides from the like mid to late 1960s, they would, they would refer to children as sexual beings. What is going on here is a repetition of a long decided ago leftist strategy, which is that if you can get the kids and you can indoctrinate them and get them while they're young, they'll serve you forever. And by the way, this is what Hitler believed, like not to go all crazy Third Reich on you again, but Hitler would say things like, I don't care about my my political opponents and dissidents. Like, I don't care about my detractors. I have your children in my school, right? Which was the whole Nazi youth thing. If you can titillate them while they're young and awaken sexual desire and cause sexual chaos when they're still innocent and unaware of what is going on, you will destroy them forever. It's, it's very hard to pick up and put together the pieces of a child's ruined innocence. And they will therefore be more likely to cave to the revolutionary agenda of leftism. And they'll be easier to control because sex is, is a, such a like powerful driver of human nature. So if you can get all of human nature focused on sex, those people won't be able to govern themselves. This is what is going on. It is a sexual obsession with children. It is projecting a sexual identity onto children. Oh, and if you don't agree as the parent, we'll take your kid from you. Call me a conspiracy theorist and go fact check this. We know today the only difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is about six to nine months. Buckle up. This kind of stuff will end in civil war when they come for your children. But we've been warning you about that for a long time.